Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to do an updated video on this American Sniper uh, 7.62x51. Okay, so I've already talked about it before in videos. Uh, I was shooting it uh, to 100 yards. Uh, and I, I felt at the time I did the video, I was like a little under impressed that it was getting like, a, a, you know, like two and a half inch groups at 100 yards. Um, you know, because I, because I was shooting over 308 ammunition that was getting closer to one inch at 100 yards. Now, I took this out to 400 yards and 500 yards uh, in my Palmetto AR-10, uh, shooting it with the red dot and the magnifier, okay? Now, uh, now one of the things that's worth noting about this is I am getting this for about $17, $17 a box, okay? So it's a good price. So the question becomes, is the 2M away good enough, okay? Uh, two, is 2 away ammunition good enough? Um, so let me show you guys the results. Because sometimes when you take ammunition out to distance, uh, the groupings don't hold true. Sometimes they'll open up. So at 400 yards, okay, we're looking at the red ones, right? The red, the red, the red ones over here, right? So I got one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I'm blowing it. So these red, red holes that you, that you see over here, okay. Um, let's take a look over here. I made some notes. Uh, so eight. Eight and a half uh, inches between the furthest two red ones. Okay, uh, the eight and a half inches comes to two point uh, two point one MOA, and then the the best four out of the five comes out to one point eight. Right, they were seven inches apart. So four hundred yards with the red dot. You know, seventeen dollars a box or seventeen dollars and some change for a box. I think that's pretty damn good. Okay, so. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of re doing this video because I think I was, I was, I think I was a little too poo poo on it the first time I did the video on this. And uh, realistically speaking, especially if you're shooting with the red dot, right, um, where you don't get that fine point of aim. So let's talk about what my hold was at 400 yards uh, on this paper here. What I was doing is I was holding center of the paper about a foot above the target. Okay, so I kind of estimated where a foot was over the target at 400 yards, uh, and I tried to hold it as best as I could. Uh, and hey, I'm still getting like, like you know, about two m wave with it. Okay, so you know, I think that that this ammunition at this price, especially for that type of, you know, for the battle rifle configuration, right? I call this the battle rifle configuration, the red dot with the magnifier. I think that's sufficient. Okay, uh, let's look at the 500 yards. So at 500 yards, I've got, again, we're looking at the red ones here, right? So we got one, two, three, four, and a fifth one went way out there, okay? So with the fifth one, we're 18 inches apart, so that's uh, 3.6 MOA. But if we look at the four, best four out of five, this cluster right here, again, 500 yards, okay? That's a 10-inch group. That is 2.5 MOA. You know what? I think I think that this ammunition at this price for right now where we are in this in actually January uh, 2024, um, I think that that's that's a good deal. I mean that's very practical. Now in order, let's talk about the holdover that I had at um, at 500 yards with the red dot and and this uh, it's, it's actually it's a, this one's a 6x magnifier. That's the Vortex uh, 6x. Let me give you guys a closer. Okay. So it's a hollow sun 510c okay with the vortex 6x magnifier um on this palmetto uh palmetto pa10 gen 3 this is the the 20 inch barrel right so it's a stainless steel 20 inch barrel it's got let's say it says 308 winchester one in ten twist okay um the holdover the holdover at 500 yards with the 308 was basically is basically knee to head okay normally with a 556 five, your holdover at 500 yards is belt to head right that's the holdover okay uh because the 308 is going a little bit slower than the 556 five, i estimated that i needed a little bit more so i went knee to head that distance over okay now when i was shooting this what i was able to do because i was there was like trees in the background uh and this is kind of where you're like at a bit of a disadvantage with the 308. 
as you start trying to do these holdovers, uh, you know, with a red dot, right, where you don't have anything specific to hold on, what I was able to do is uh, the thing hold, there was, a, there was these two posts holding up a net where I was able to hang the targets on, and that post was about the height that I was looking at, I was looking for, right? Uh, because if you look at the size of this paper, this size of the paper, right, it's basically head, head to, head to waist, right? So, so with five, with, 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 with five, five, six, this would be my holdover, right, at 500 yards. So I needed to go a little bit more. I needed, need to head. So I'm kind of using the paper itself to basically figure out my holdover as I'm looking at this through the magnifier. Uh, but then now, now, once you figure that out, it, it can be a little difficult to hold, you know, hold perfectly still at that height. So there were these two poles uh, that were holding up the netting, okay? And it was at about the, the height that I wanted to be at. So what I did is I went up the pole and then just brought it over, centered it over the paper, and I was kind of using that, that, that pole, right, uh, to help me judge my holdover. Uh, and it was really effective because look at this beautiful uh let me say this beautiful 10 inch group four 10 inch group that i got with four out of five shots okay uh, and even if you consider the fifth one for a total group of 18 inches that's still inside a man size target right at 500 yards with a red dot and and and, and a magnifier so um so yeah I, I felt that i really needed to redo this video uh, or i'll do this as a supplemental video i don't delete all vi old videos unless like i made like a like a like a, a, a mistake or gave the wrong information i don't delete old videos because it kind of gives people a chance to see okay you're looking at a current video how did i get there what was the experience that built up to this okay so i, I generally don't delete old videos uh, i got videos going back to 2006 okay uh i was one of the original gun tubers out there although I, I i never monetized the channel i never went like really commercial with it um and plus back in like 2006 i, I didn't know anywhere near as much of the stuff that i started picking up around like 2010 11 12 that's when I really started getting, um, you know, that's, that's when I became a certified instructor and I really started getting into this. Okay. But yeah, this, uh, uh, this, this American Sniper 762 by 51, 149 grains at, at about $17 and change. I don't remember exactly what it was. Maybe it was like $17.50 per box. I, I got this, I think, with free shipping. I, I think the reason why I ordered this was at the time they, these were, they had free shipping. So I said, hey, let's, let's give, give these guys a chance. So um, the free shipping makes a big, it makes a big difference. Look for that free shipping, they, especially around the holidays. That's when a lot of these companies put out, you know, come out with free shipping and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. But yeah, overall, especially for shooting with a red dot, you know, on your 308, you know, red dot magnifier, because because you can only be so accurate with a red dot, right? Because a red dot at 500 yards is like this big. Okay, so so it's kind of hard, you know, you know, if you if you're shooting with with, with let's say with a variable scope that you let's say with a 5 to 25 where you can really zoom in zoom in and you got like a, a bull drop compensator uh you know yeah you you know you you might want something even more accurate but for a red dot this ammunition is plenty accurate okay so thanks for watching drop some comments below let me know what you guys think i'll talk to you soon and check your subscription because youtube youtube keeps unsubscribing people